Look at that little snow falling on New York City. But you know what? Let's talk about spring break. Let's talk about warmer places. Rawson Reports is here. When you are on vacation, you figure that that Wi-Fi you get at the hotel is safe. Yeah. Mm -mm. Turns out hackers have new ways to steal your information. Oh, today, national investigative correspondent Jeff Rawson is here to show us all this. Hey, Jeff. More good news. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we all do it, right? You check into your hotel, and the first thing you do is this. You get on the phone, you try to get onto the Wi-Fi, and you look for the Wi-Fi network that most resembles your hotel name. You assume it's safe. Well, hackers are now imitating the Wi-Fi at your hotel to steal your personal data. And guys, they have new tricks to make it even tougher to spot. This morning, don't worry, we're about to show you how they do it and how to protect your privacy. That's scary. It seems innocent enough. That's not good. Hotel Wi-Fi that looks like the real deal. It makes me feel violated. But in reality, it's a trap. Hackers creating free Wi-Fi to mimic your hotel. You log in and they steal all your personal information. So just how fast can you become a victim? To show you, yeah, we're poolside here at the Grand Fiesta Americana in Cancun, Mexico. And I'm gonna do what I always do on vacation is grab a lounge chair. I've logged into the hotel Wi-Fi. Now I can just chill out and do my thing. But today there is a hacker here on the other side of the pool, posing as a tourist. The hotel knows about it, but the guests don't. His name, Jim Stickley, a cybersecurity expert and luckily one of the good guys. So we're at the resort right now and their Wi-Fi access point is Fiesta Rewards. We set up Fiesta Rewards Pool, which basically makes people think, hey, we're at the pool. It must be a stronger signal down here. I'll use that one. Then something troubling happens. Guests at the hotel start connecting to our fake network thinking it's the real thing. You can see right now there's someone named Sharon and there's someone named Cody. They both have iPhones. And they're on your network thinking it's the official one. Absolutely. And you're watching what they, what we they do. We monitor everything they're doing right now. I'm going to go try to find them. To tell Good them. luck. Is there a Sharon here? You're Sharon? Yes. Hi, Jeff Rawson from the Today Show, NBC. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? What Wi-Fi are you on? I'm on Fiesta Rewards Pool. OK, that's the hotel Wi-Fi? Yes. What if I told you that's actually not the hotel Wi-Fi? And our security expert can monitor everything you're doing right now on your phone. It frightens me. Even down on the beach, people are logging into our fake Wi-Fi. Cody? Yeah. There it is. Fiesta Rewards Pool. That's nuts. You've been on this. I've been watching you on this. Uh, it's pretty unsettling being on vacation. So that's pretty scary. Guest after guest. Oh, he's got another one. Falling for it. Megan? Is there a Megan here? Yeah. You know what's coming next. <laughs> yeah. But what information can he really get? I test it out. I'm watching everything he's doing in real time. I'm gonna buy some gloves for when I get back home to the cold. And he just entered in his visa information. So it's his visa card number is There's the security code. I also have his expiration date on the card, which was All right, let me check in for the flight home. There he's got a window seat, and it looks like he takes off tomorrow. And I'm gonna log into my email. He just logged in, there's his email address, and there's his password. So how can you protect yourself? Can I give you a tip? Yes, may give me a tip. Hop off the public Wi-Fi when you want to go onto your bank website or you want to type in your credit card and buy something and go onto the 3G or 4G, the cell carrier. It's much more secure. Then you can get back on the public Wi-Fi. Perfect. I will take that and put it in my head and use it. <laughs> but then our hacker went one step further, creating another fake network, this time with the exact same name as the real one and watch what happens. Hi, Hello. Jeff Rossman from NBC, how are you? Hi. Are you Lauren? I'm Lauren. Can I see what Wi-Fi you're on right now? My phone is actually over there. Can you actually grab your phone for me? Sure. She doesn't know it yet, but her phone auto-joined our fake Wi-Fi without her ever touching it. When she gets back, she has a question for me. How do I fix it? All right, let me show you. Every hour or two, when you're in a public Wi-Fi situation like this, even at a hotel that you trust, Hit this right here, forget this network, and forget it, and re-log in again. And better yet, when you first log into any public network, shut off the auto-join function just like that. Thank you for letting me know. You got it. Now, you can go back to vacation now. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> I appreciate it. Keeping you protected as you plan your spring break. Be more careful next time? Yep, for sure. Thank you.
By the way, Savannah, you guys are on your phones I, trying to an auto join. get rid of the auto, auto join. join. Wow. Get yeah. rid of the auto join. By the way, you guys want another tip? And this, yeah. one's, yeah. this one's pretty personal for me. I do it when I travel to hotels. You know when you check into a hotel, they ask for your last name and room number yeah. when you log right. into the Wi-Fi usually? I always type in Rawson, then the wrong room number on purpose. If it still lets you in, you know it's a fake oh. that's letting anyone in. Oh. But if it denies me, then I retype my name in with the right room number. You are good, I'm, Rawson. I got you this. I got it. you. We yes. all got to think yeah. like Rawson. Yeah, I know. It's, well, it's, uh, it's, no, let, it's, let's it's a very dangerous <laughs> place. Let's, let's, let's back off a little bit. <laughs> or maybe just jet ski and have a daiquiri and put your phone down when yeah. you're on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's that, that too. That's right. There's that too. All right. And the you tips. should install antivirus yeah. Antivirus software like Norton antivirus on your phone. That's another layer of protection to keep people out. All right. Awesome, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. I know you know. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.